This is Ernest Vilches, the preacher at the Siwang Church of Christ, located in Siwang, Tabiti, Philippines. Yes, first things first, if you like the video, please comment down below. Please share it to your social media network. Please like it and please subscribe. Thank you for coming to spend time with us today. We are in the process of a series of lessons on fear. By the way, I do want to say that you probably noticed that this is the same shirt that I had on yesterday. The reason for that is the internet at my office is broken and I'm having to use the internet someplace else. Therefore, these recordings are all being done at one time rather than a different one every day. We're in the process of talking about fear. Fear. What are we afraid of? Should we be afraid? How do we serve? How do we overcome fear in order to become fruitful servants to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? If we turn on the news, it doesn't matter. Every day, it seems that news is filled with stories of bad things that have happened around the world. From volcanoes, which we had earlier this year in January, to earthquakes, to airplane crashes, to stories of death that seem to be meaningless and all too common. Some people have come to grips with the fact that death is just a part of life. Yet some people seem to be overcome with fear. They seem to be terrified with thoughts about when and how they will die. How can we tackle this fear and find comfort amidst or among all of the stories, amidst or among all of the news of everything that is bad that is taking place? Well, as always, we need to start with what the Word of God has to say. Go to Psalm 23, 4. Psalm, chapter, Psalm 23, verse 4. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. The shepherding that we receive from the Lord, the word that we receive from him in his holy Bible, the instructions for our life should bring us comfort. We don't need to fear because God is with us. And the fact that God is with us brings us comfort. Go to Psalm 46. Psalm 46. Verses 1 and 2. God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. David really expressed great faith here. If the earth ceases to exist. And the mountains, they fall into the ocean. They fall into the sea. A lot of people would be panicked. But we need to know that God is our refuge and our strength. We are, when we are in fearful situations, he gives us comfort and confidence. We can cry out to God with our fear. Second Chronicles chapter 20, verse 9. Second Chronicles chapter 20, verse 9. If calamity comes upon us, rather the sword of judgment or plague or famine, we will stand in your presence before this temple that bears your name and will cry out to you in our distress. You will hear us and save us. We cry out to God, and he has the power to save us. Does he always? No, he does not. These verses that we've just read, 
we need to note that the ultimate victory is over the fear of death and over death itself. It comes to all of us. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 6. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. You're in 1 Corinthians 15, 26. Go down to 1 Corinthians 15, 55. Where, O oh death, is your victory? Where, O oh death, is your sting? If we are going to heaven, what is the harm of our earthly death? 56. The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is in the law. But thanks be to God, he gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. So, what do we do? How do we apply this? How do we make it fit us? What we have to know is, although the thoughts of death can be scary, but we must realize that God is in control and that death is just the beginning of an eternity. We will enjoy this eternity in the presence of Jesus Christ and God the Father. We do not need to live life constantly struggling with our fear of death. We serve a God that is in control of all things, and even life itself. For that reason, we are able to trust him and enjoy the life that he has given us. God has given us a life that is ours. We are living in a time of the COVID virus, and we have to know that this too, God will overcome. Do not be afraid of what comes next. Make sure that you're right with Jesus Christ. It's always a pleasure to have you. If you like the video, if you find some of it helpful, please, down there, click, like, comment, share, and don't forget to hit the bell. Hit the bell down there at the bottom so that you'll be notified whenever we post a new video and you'll see it then. Thank you. Till next time, this is Ernest.